Hey everybody, thank you for watching. This is Brenda with Foxy's Creation. Um, what we're going to do today is my Artology Design Team project for August Part 5. And we are using the background pages, which these three came in the kit. This is one I added, burlap paper, um, to make envelopes and touch spots to go in the journal. So that's what we're doing today. And we like we don't have enough envelopes, pockets, and tuck spots. So we're going to make those today with these papers. Now, some of them, I've got a stack of stuff under here already started. And I'm going to show you what I did on those. And I'm trying to figure out how to get my screen to go big. Or, okay. So that's what we're going to do today. And I appreciate everybody coming. And if you're new to my channel and haven't, subscribed and you like what you see i do more than just journals we're going to be starting to do some different things on different days of the week so if you're new to the channel and want to see a bunch of different stuff go on and hit that subscribe button below hit the little bell next to it and then of course hit the thumbs up if you like what you see please leave comments down below i try to answer all comments everybody does get a heart so you know i've seen it i think that's all the businessy part of stuff so let's get on with it so these are the pages that we're going to be using and i also printed out some coffee dyed ledger paper that i coffee dyed and scanned to go with these so let's see and but wait because i got two of everything i got some music paper that i inked that we can use as well because the whole journal is collaged so i'm just trying to keep up with that collage theme so here's what we're going to do we'll set those aside for now we're going to probably need those again i have made more envelope little tuck spots this envelope i cut in half i glued the, the, the lid i glued the flap shut and then cut it in half so we're going to turn these into tuck spots like this is two envelopes put together and i don't think i have two of them out here to show you i don't even have two of these well yeah i do sort of this is a wider business one all you do is you fold one different than the other and then you glue them so you have different flaps now these are the same size so they worked out better and we, wait 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 looking to see if i had another one of these nope i do not or do i it's already glued okay so i don't but all i did was i folded it differently so we know how i made this i showed that on the other video so i made this again and then i folded this shorter so that now what we have is we have a tuck. Let's see. I don't think I cut the side off the other one. I did not. So what I did on this one on here, I didn't cut the side flap. I did it on this one. So you have your tuck here. You have your tuck here. And then you're having a tuck here, a tuck here, a tuck here. And I cut this end off of this one. So you would have a tuck here. If you glue it flat down in your book, that would be it. If you glue it on three sides, you would have another tuck. So that's how this was made. Just folding one the original way and then folding this one just a little shorter and putting the two together. Is how that was done. But I'm only going to have one of those in the book because um, it's going to be a little bulky. And then, so we have this. We're going to decorate it. We have some book pages as well. And then what I did, you guys, was I took some squares of the paper and I simply folded them over for corner spots. So this is background paper. And they can go either way. They can go this way. They can go this way. And I'm going to leave them so that they can flip up. So I made some of those. And that's just real simple square of paper. 
Then I took some paper and I tore it down. Well, this one I didn't tear down. It was I, I cut something out of here, and I thought that would be cute on a page as a corner tuck spot. Um, there's just a little square of paper again. We could, well, it's not exactly a square, but you could fold it over, make your sides line up, and have a smaller pocket. And so, then we're just going to cut this little strip off. And I've been saving these little strips because they're going to come in handy for something. So, now we have a smaller little corner. But I tore these strips and I made them so that they can layer. And here's another little corner one. So, like, I could put this on here and cut it down. And now we've got a layered tuck spot. So it becomes two. You could put them like this on a page. On an envelope even. So just a lot of different things we could do with these. On a card. And then make an envelope. You know a tuck spot out of your card. So different things. So I did that with some of the papers. And this is how I told y'all the background papers were going to come back into our journal so what I wanted to do was and that does not look cut straight to me let's check it out on our little glass table mat on at the bottom it is straight okay cool so I know our pages are not this wide let's get the journal And since I was on here last, I did go on and put the lace around the inside edge. So our pages are not this wide. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to trim this down a little bit more. And I'm going to trim this edge off. I like this at the top. I think we'll go this way. Save our little strip. Put the cutter down. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make like an envelope to go in the journal. I don't think I folded that correctly. There we go. And I'm going to take my corner rounder. And round these corners off. Because I just like how that looks on an envelope thing. Okay. So now so that this can be an envelope, we need to glue our flaps. So, where's my little teeny tiny bottle of Elmer's? And I hope everybody had a great weekend. This is now Wednesday, right? Yep. This is Wednesday. Hope y'all have been enjoying the videos. The one after this is going to be where we put everything together. And that's not the right thing. Here it is. So the one after this is going to be where we put it all together. So I'm going to take my little tiny blue bottle. And just put a bead of glue down each side. And get a paper towel and wipe the glue off. And we should have inked, so we're going to ink now. Y'all, I've been having so many computer problems. Well, I haven't. It's not computer. Let me correct that. Camera issues. I'm probably going to put up a video for help. 
because I don't know what updated and what caused it. I'm ready to set my windows back to the previous before the updates part. That's an option I understand from Windows that I can uninstall my updates, which I think created my problem. My camera now freezes up all the time. I can't do a, a recorded video. It wants to freeze up and it freezes up at random. It could freeze up 20 minutes in, 8 minutes in, 3 minutes in. I run all kind of tests. I should have done this before because now it's going to be difficult. But I do want to kind of ink the inside of this up a little bit. So we'll just do it this way. Just so it's not stark white. Okay. And I want to go around these edges. So I don't know. But that's why I've been doing them this way. I'm doing them as unlisted videos. Recorded basically live unlisted. And then scheduling them after. Because... At this point, I can't record and then upload because my computer is not cooperating with me. And again, it's not the computer. It's the camera. I have uninstalled my camera software, reinstalled the camera software. I've moved my camera, plugged into different ports. I've unplugged stuff. So it's, but it was happening on my, the previous computer as well. So I don't know what the problem really is, you guys. I need to find a card from the kit and see if it's going to fit in here. I think they do. So I don't know what it is, but it's really, it was, everything was working fine up until recently. It's file folders. Here, let's a tag. Let me find a card. Card or card? There are cards. It's a file folder. Okay, here's a card. They're kind of small, but they will fit. So let's do this. I have stuff cut out over here. And this will fit. We just have to cut it. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cut it out here. So we got that cut. And we're just going to glue this down to this card and make a bigger card. I think that's going to be our solution for this one. Or wait a minute. What if I edit this from one of the pages and we saved it and I want to cut it. No, maybe I don't. I like how that looks. Let's just do that one. And then it's not going to add extra bulk because it's not going to be cardstock on top of cardstock because I did print the journaling cards onto cardstock. So let's just add this here. Now I have some napkin pieces cut out over here. We could put on this. Just collage them down. Let's see. What if we put this? Just that and the butterfly, I think. But they're not all separated yet, so let me pull their backings off. I cut them out before I peeled them. Just because it's easier to do it that way. Okay, so here we have this butterfly we can put right there. And I don't think I want to use that flower. I think... I may want to make a cluster with these flowers. And let me cut this out a little bit better. 
So that's why I, I could go live, but I'm really hesitant. And I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do on a live. I haven't been live in a minute. So I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. I think we're going to just do a chat and catch up on the next time I go live, which will probably not be today. This is very early Thursday morning or Wednesday morning. I'm thinking tomorrow afternoon, early evening, because I've got to take mom to get her groceries. And then we should be back here about 3.30-ish Central Time. And that might be a good time to go live. Come back, cool off, and then go live. So that's what I'm thinking. So that'll be Thursday. Okay. We're just going to build our own little kind of flower kind of cluster thing like that. And we'll have our little butterfly on here. I think that's pretty. So, when I am working with napkin, I do stick glue, and then I put glue on the top of it. So, that's what we're going to do. Put that one there. And we're just going to put this one. Like so. And then our butterfly, we're just going to put here. Oops, I bent his little wing. So we're adding some of our own little collage elements. And napkins are great because this is only part of a napkin. It's a very small part. So the reason they're great is because I can use more of this napkin in other places and tie it all together. Now I'm going to put just a tiny bit of glue because I'm going to Mod Podge. And my paintbrush is a little damp. And that's all I'm going to do because I don't want my ink to run. So that's it for that one. And that will fit in this pocket. But let's decorate our pocket a little bit. So I know we need somehow for it to close. And stay closed. So for that, let's look. Ooh, let me move that background paper for just a moment. In our little tiny stuff bin. We could put one of these little admit ones on here and just tuck this behind it. We could put... I'm looking for one of those little tiny cutouts that we had. They're only on paper, though. That's on card. No. That's too big. Okay, I'll cut out another tiny one. So we can cut this out like this. 
And then we can take a ticket. And then we're just going to layer this all up. We can take one of these little stamps. What else can we put on here that's tiny and small? Let's do... I kind of do like that. Oh, you know what, guys? Thinking here. Wish this card's not thick enough for this. Let's make the card thicker. We got, I should have a scrap of cardstock. So now I'm looking at the other part of my desk in my scrappage area. I have them. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's make it a little bit, let's do this side, a little bit smaller. Thinking we put this on here. And we could put a brad here. And then this would turn for it to open and turn for it to close. But a square would. Maybe not a square. Or we could just leave it as a tab for that to tuck behind. Either way. Kind of like that. Now, where's one of them little stamps? We just had one of them little stamps. They're all down in the bottom there. We could put one of these at the bottom. I'm looking at that on camera, and I'm not sure I like it. I like this. Once we ink it, once we ink it, let's just ink it up and see what happens. I think once we ink it and the ticket blends better, it will be better. The other thing is we have those little ladies that are tiny. Er, what if we put one of those? On a piece of card. As our closing element. That could be pretty. And then we could put some other little decorations. Like the little ticket. And our little butterfly dude. Moth. Um, we could take from our scrappage. Like a little tiny. Oh. I think we got it. She will need to be put on this cardstock. So let's cut. Oh, I got a piece over here. Let's ink it up first. How long does it need to be? Well, we're going to trim her down a little tiny bit. Then it needs to be about that long. Okay. I got paint or something on the handle of my brush. So now we can ink this up all around. Let's ink her, just the edges. Let's ink our little tiny piece of ephemera that we just cut off that piece of paper. Okay. So now she's peeling sticks, so... We are going to 
Just peel her off. Stick her down. And then we're going to put this here, but we're only going to glue from about here. My glue is closed and stopped up. So a helpful tip, guys. You cannot get glue out of a closed container. Hey, but at least I closed it this time, right? Let's remember my desk was clean a moment ago. I think that happens, so everybody crafts in their discs. Maybe clean at the beginning. By the end, no. Okay, so we're going to just put her here. And that's going to allow our flap to open and close on our envelope. And where did our little piece of ephemera go? Kind of. Let me trim this off a little tiny bit. And that is so not cut straight. Try to straighten that up a little bit. There we go. That's straighter. Okay. Let's just put this down here. Kind of like that. Put our little ticket over here. And I tuck it. No, can't tuck it. I like that. Oh, I kind of like how that looks. And then this is our little flap holder closed part and then we have our card that goes in there so we're just going to set those aside remove the parts that we don't want to keep and now we can move on so I want to make one out of this paper as well so we need to cut it down and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to trim this side just so I can make sure both sides are straight okay put those back here to save okay so let's see here's some These are things we can use. That goes back up there with the tags for now. I'm just trying to get some stuff out of my way. Yeah. That's a big moth right there. You know, that would be pretty on the front of an envelope, though. So, let's see. We have these little tiny things out already. So, let's make our envelope. And we may need to make another card. Get our flap to fold over. And let's round off our corners. Now for this one. I think I want to use one of these bigger frames. And just put something in the middle of it. Maybe a flower from our napkin. Um, I 
one of those little book page flowers. Ooh, that's an idea. But this, again, needs to go onto cardstock because it is not thick enough. So, this piece of card should work. We're going to glue it down, then we'll cut it out again. Come here. And just so I don't have so much cutting, I'm going to slide that to the top edge, pretty much, just to make it easier. Let's cut Lord Willow Butter. One of these butterflies will not fit in there. Nope. That's the napkin I used. Let's get one of the book. Oops, I'm losing stuff from my bin. Let's get one of the book pages. Here they are. Oh. That would be pretty cut out in there. And then... Take one of these... Little teeny tiny moss. Okay. Because these flowers are so pretty, you guys. I'm trying to see how we want to put them on here. Let's just... Trim around the bottom of this a little bitty bit. And then come back in. Trim around that bud. And I'm going to trim around this the same way. I don't like it looking so straight over here. So all I'm doing is just turning the paper back and forth. So that it comes out more ruffly looking. Okay. I think I like that. And then we can put our little moth. Turn those that way to give her a moth in the room. Let's see. Maybe put these over this way and have the moth coming in from this. Way. I like that. So let's glue these down. And let's glue our little tiny moth. Over to here. Oops, he moved. Okay, and let's cut this out. I have home interior mirrors that actually have this kind of a frame on them. That's what I think of when I see this frame. My home interior mirrors. Okay, so now we need to ink all this stuff up. Put that in the tiny bin. 
we're going to just set that aside because we're going to probably use it in a minute. Okay, so we have this. And let's ink, ink, ink. Ink it, ink it, ink it. And we're going to need to make a card again. So let me look for some scrappage cardstock stuff. Another piece of that bird scrap would be great right now. I think I know what we can use. And this really doesn't need to be inked because other than just to get rid of the little white edges that our envelope does. In this bin, I have post, I think it's where the postcards are that I made. One of the pages had postcards on it and I printed them separate. And I think they will fit in here. So that is what we're going to do. One of those postcards. And we want to get this edge this time. Before we fold it closed. And let's just, we need a scratch paper. I have more of that thin white paper. There we go. Okay. Now, and it looks like I used this as a scratch paper at one point in time, but no one's going to see that because it's on the inside of this envelope. And we're just going to glue those sides down. And then take our little piece of ephemera and glue it probably where these corners are down. That gives us something to go by anyway. There we go. So now let me find those postcards. They should be. Here's one. And if I trim it down a little bit, it will work. So I'm going to cut just a little bit off over to this side. And just a little bit off over to this side. And it is not lined on the back. I thought it was. And I may still need to trim it. open our envelope yes it's gonna need to be trimmed a little bit more I hate let's trim this side down we won't miss so much from over here and these were on a the postcard was part of a page and I just cut that part out of the page and made multiples on a page to simulate postcard size and now we're going to use them as journaling cards. And they are perfect for in this envelope. And let's just make sure it's going to fit. Still kind of tight squeeze. Let's just trim this little itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty. Off of there. Okay, now let's check it. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up a little bit more because of my glue spread. I don't want to trim any more of that off. Okay, let's see now. It's fine at the top. Whoops. This corner seems to not be straight. Let's re-ink and try again. Okay, I'm just going to loosen the pocket up a little bit more. Now, let's see. And it fits. So I'm taking it out because I don't want it to get glued in. We're just going to lay these two together and put them up there. Okay, so we've got those two done. Now let's work on one of these. So if we put it in the book this way, it's going to flip up so that whoever has the book can journal all in here and then close it back down. And that's perfect. How are we going to get it to stay shut? Hmm. Thinking. I really do like the flip up idea. I can't do that. I have made them out of bigger paper and done that. And that's what I glued down so that you can unfold it. And then this gets folded over thusly. And then these go like this. And this is kind of small. Yeah. But these go. And tuck into each other. What do we have that will fit in there? That's just too small. Let's undo. Undo and rewind. Back to this. I'm trying to think what can hold this down. But let's ink it. I don't want it to be folded. And we need to ink this. I really like that flip up idea. But I, let's see. That way it would flip up, still flips up. I didn't design it to flip down, but you could. Oh, if it was at the top of a page, it would flip this way. And then we could put a paper clip. I don't know about the paper clip. I do kind of like thinking about this at the top of the page. Maybe putting one of these little ladies on here. I do like the top of the page idea. Because you can't have everything at the bottoms of your pages or your journal gets skewed. I cut that crooked. So, that's just snippy snippy. And we're going to put her here. Let's peel her off. Oh, wait. Let's ink. I always forget this is the hardest thing for me to remember. I don't know why.
and let's do some like mini collage. Oh, here we go. Again, this is from one of the pages that I shrank down. Just tuck that kind of behind her. I really kind of like how that's looking. Yep. I like it. So let's just glue this down to our paper. Now, I'm going to probably make more of these off camera, you guys. I'm just trying to show you what my plans were and make at least one of everything while we're on camera. And this goes like this. Let's get it lined up. I just like the contrast. Now we can peel her off of that sticker paper. I like it. And then we can put it to where it would flip down from our book. And we could always make a paper clip from the tickets. Oh, that would be an idea. Where's my box of smallish paper clips? This them. So to do these paper clips, we're going to take a small strip of paper, fold it in half, put it inside of the paper clip, and cut it off. I am hoping that the little tickets that I made, there's one. Where's another one? There we go. Are long enough. And they are. So we're just going to put these little tickets on here. This really should be card. Let's scratch that. Get a piece of this card. And it doesn't have to be big. Okay, fold it in half inside the paper clip. And this is how I make the hidden paper clip. So that just goes inside of the paper clip, both sides. And then we're going to put glue over the paper clip on the paper. The trick is don't glue your sides together. We're going to put this up here. And just press it down. And I always go up and make sure I have all that pressed and it's glued. And it's, see, it's not glued. Oh, and Muffet's snoring again. She's under the desk doing her normal. Okay, so we have that. Set that aside to dry for just a moment. And then we can clip this on here at the top of the page, over here at the toward the bottom of her to hold this closed. And so we're going to set all this aside, let that dry for a minute. We'll come back to that. And we can make more paper clips. Um... So the next thing, let me get these little trimmy bits off. Okay. So I wanted to do, and we have more of those corners. But my plan was, I want to do these. Layered pockets. And I had them. 
Oh, wait a minute. I think I was going to layer them on here. Oh, yeah. See, and I like how that looks because there's a contrast between the two. I like that contrast between these two. And then what that will do is when it's on the paper, you'll have a tuck here and a tuck behind. Now. You'll have two tuck spots. And let's cut. I'm trying to look to see what my corner, what my tour papers are. Because I have a lot of that one. Well, I do I have a lot of that one. I only have one of this one, right? Why do I only have one of that one? That's odd. Oh, it's because I have the other one. None of the yellow paper, but we have more paper printed out we can deal with. I want to cut this in half, I think. We are going to have one more flip out one. I think we're going to save this for that. But we're going to cut these two like this. Okay, and now let's go on and take this one, and we are just going to glue this down to the edges. Three, two sides. Line it up as best as we can. Now we want to decorate it. Now I got out this fun fur the other day. Is it going to show? It's not really going to show up on that one. Okay, so we'll use it when we do the other color ones. But I want to go back to these book pages. Ooh. Which, this goes this way. I kind of like it. Let's cut around it a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to come up like this. And I don't really think I want this to be a straight edge. So we're just going to kind of come around it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Then what I'm thinking is one of the tiny little ladies. Maybe not that one. Would one of these bigger ones work? If we cut it off, maybe. Let's first get rid of this at the top. I kind of, well, we'll save that for another somethings. I think I kind of like that. We just need to cut it down a little bit. Cut this off just a tiny bit. And come in like that. And then put her, we may have to cut some off the back side. That's fine. Let's get her glued on there. I like how that looks. I do. And we need something, maybe a word, something out there. I need to build this stuff straight, I think. I 
or maybe just use one of our little ticket things. Oh, I had some little doilies out for us to use. Where did they go? It's going to be a moment. Everything is all over my desk right now. Hmm. This video is going to be over an hour, guys, and I apologize for that. Where did I put those little tiny doilies? And that's an option. You can use lace. Um, but I had the tiny doilies, and it's just a matter of finding where I put their little baggie. Walk baggy on my desk somewhere. But I don't know where right this minute. So I have this lace. I think take a piece of this lace. Put back there, bring it down a little bit, and put our little ethnic one over the lace. But the lace isn't really showing up, so let's give it some contrasty things. I'm going to use this, but we need to get it on our scratch paper. And I'm just going to rub over it. Thusly. Okay, so now what we're going to have is this. This piece of lace, which now you can see. Our Lady. And our little admit one ticket. I think I like that. But we're going to stick the ticket behind her. So let's get our lace on here. And it probably needs to come all the way across. Now, let's figure out where this needs to go. She's going to go here. So, this needs to go like that. Just like that. We'll glue that down. Now, we'll put glue on her. And I know some of her is going to hang off. So I'm going to not go all the way out to that edge because I don't want to cut through glue. So we're going to just put her Like that. And I'm getting that ink everywhere. So now we can just trim this off. And here's what we have. So when this goes on our page, we're going to have a pocket and a pocket. And I think that's very pretty. So we can set that aside. And let's work on making one for a different page going this way. 
And we have this one. Let's get a different lady. This is one of the bigger ladies. I do like her. Let's do this. And how much of her do we need to cut? Let's trim down a little bit on the side. And some on this side. Let's slide our pocket over. Okay, let's just tear this off. Keep with the torn theme. We'll go across the top. Oh, I didn't tear it at the right angle, did I? I'll make it a steeper angle. There we go. We're going to tear down the side. Okay, let's see. Let's glue our pocket on here. So it'll quit moving around. Now let's look at what we can do with her. So I need to pull off just a little bit more over here. And then we're going to pull at the bottom of that. So now she can go on here like this and I'm not worried about that straight edge because this is going to be straight as well so I'm not going to worry about that but we need to ink her a little bit Let's add something behind her. Let's see. Although this is pretty, just like it is. I think we're going to leave it and just glue her on here. Maybe we can come back and add a flower or something, but I'm going to let it marinate. Okay. Make sure I get her on the edge of the pocket. Uh-oh, I think I got her up too high. And there we go. So now we'll have a tuck spot for this pocket here and one here. I like it. So we'll just set that up there to dry and we're going to continue. So now on this one, I want it to go this way and we're going to use some of this green because it's going to give us the most contrast of any of it. So let's just go ahead and glue it on here and then we can figure out what we're going to put on it for decorations. I probably should have inked it first. Well, let's ink it. I didn't ink any of those, but. I 
I don't think it really made that much of a difference, to be honest. There's been a lot of videos, too, on going back to basics and stuff, guys. And doing this kind of thing, like, in bulk, so you have them to pull from. Okay, so we have this. Now let's go in our little bucket of pieces. Bino buckets. Oh. Let's... Again, this is just a little cut off from one of the shrunken pages when I shrink them down. Toward that the incorrect direction. And I am going to tear the other side of this one. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, let's ink it up. Okay. Now, let's just put this... Well, let's take this straight little corner off. There we go. And ink that corner. Okay, and let's just put this like this. I like that. And let's find one of our tinier ladies. Or do we want a flower? I really think we want one of the tinier ladies. Let's put her maybe off over here. So, I'm going to snip. No, I'm not. Yeah, let's snip her. Let's make her be straight. And just put her like that. And let's ink that up as well. And before I go crazy with the ink, let's make sure I snip this off straighter. There we go. Okay, so let's glue this one down. I like the layered pockets. It just allows us to get more stuff into the journal. Okay. Now she's a peeling stick because I put her on that six by those four by six mailing labels. If I can get the backing to come off. There we go. And let's get this straight. That didn't go on there straight at all. That's okay. It's just a ephemera layering. And there's that pocket. I really like how that looks. So we'll have a tuck here and a tuck here. We'll set that one aside. And let's work on this one. And it's going to go the other direction. And let's see what we have. Don't I, I should have a piece to go the other direction. Hmm. Well, let's look. Let me cut this up straight. What if we do that? I don't like it. I 
don't like that either. I like them taller. So what we have to do then is come over here. If I can get it out. Because I printed paper. And we're going to cut a strip. That I can now. Let's cut it across. Work on. Tearing a piece from. Like that. I like that. And let's just. I'm going to go back on the other ones. We need to ink the, the front edges. If nothing else. Because it is going to go in our book. Okay, and this doesn't really show up, but we're going to ink it anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this down to here. I have so much fun doing this and just coming up with different ideas and... But I am finding out that you, as soon as you think you have an idea, somebody already did it before you. So I'm sure somewhere there are layered cut spots like this. Okay, so now what to put on here. I like her. So it's tear. Kind of do like we did a while ago. Make it work. I like that. And then we can just tear down this edge. Now, I'm going to tear up the side of this because I think I like how that's going to look. It's going to tear a little, little, teeny, tiny bit. And I'm going to need to tear off some more of these flowers. So I'm just going to do a little bit of fussy kind of tearing around the flowers. Let's see if I can get that to work. Yes. So I like that. I like that a lot. Now, what if we put, we're not going to see it. No point in doing that. If you're not going to see it, I say don't. Because then you're wasting your materials. Now, that's just my opinion, you guys. Let's ink her up.
Okay, see, I think that looks really pretty, just like that. We could put a little lace under her across the bottom of this page so we have something. Let's go with this lace because this is going to go in our journal. So we need to go from there to there. And we need tacky glue for that. Is this the full one? No. I want the full one. Okay. Put this lace down here at the bottom. Oh, we need to put it wider glue area than that. That lace is not going to hang on. There we go. Okay, there's our lace. That's pretty. The glue is going to dry clear, so I'm not worried about that. But tacky glue doesn't reactivate, which is why I want to use tacky glue there. Okay, now we can put her where she goes. Kind of right there. Press, press, press. And then maybe, no, not a moth. Let's find something on one of our little pages maybe that we could cut. Maybe a tiny bit of this little tiny music paper. That's kind of cute. And just layer it on here too. And not with the tacky glue, but with the Elmer's glue. going to try to lift her up, but I'll just put that one corner under. Or, mm, she's not going to lift. So we'll do it like that. And we do have some little tiny paper flowers that we could put, or back to the book page flowers. I just saw my book pages. We had already got one of those. Hang on. We will just cut this little flower out. And add it on there as well. I like that. Okay, so now we can set this aside to dry. Oh, we're gluing ourselves to our little scratch paper. And then we were going to work on, where did you go? The envelopes. Aha. Now, we've already made these tuck spots once. But this, we have it. And I still, well, we've basically done it. Before we decorated it. Before we got this far. So we've basically done these. So the next thing is. Let's do. A tuck spot. 
But let's do like a, a now we know our pages are this size of a page, okay? So I know it's that size. I'm going to pull this back because I don't want it. to go edge to edge plus we had to cut some of our papers down and I don't know where this is going to go in the journal so we're going to cut this and this is our inside and front and back covers now we know that this is the way we need this to go so let's cut how high do we want our pockets I think about this tall is good. Okay, so we're going to save these off to the side. I'm going to cut this in half. So we'll have two pockets from this one right here. And that's got a wave in it. Okay, so here are two pockets. Now we just need to decorate our two pockets. So, this is where I printed out these extra. That's not on sticker. These extra pages. Because my goal was we're going to cut them down and use them as ephemera for this kind of thing. So, like, here's this little piece. We have this little tiny piece of small ledger paper. We have this piece, put it on that one. We have this dictionary paper. We have this. So we're building our own collage. I think we should have a piece of this. Maybe over here somewhere. Peace. And I really like this strip of lettering. Okay. But I'm thinking let's do that and not that. Okay, so we're just going to put it all back in our bucket that we didn't use. And now we need probably some little flowers or something to cut out and put on here. There's flowers and a butterfly. Oh, look, another one of those pages. The roses again. Those. Oh, I like that rose. We'll keep that one. Or we could use one of the ladies. And in this case, we could use... One of these little or one of the medium sized ones because I have them in three sizes, guys. So, pardon my reach. That's a little. That's a medium. Oh, I like her. I really like her too. I like these groupings. We haven't used them yet. So, let's do this. Let's use these grouped ladies. Yeah. Okay. So now we just got to glue our stuff down. How do we want to glue it? On this pocket. So I think we're going to put this little piece up here. And then so 
sorry i'm not on camera i'm gonna get the bird and the flower We'll put it somewhere in a moment. I think. And we don't have to cover up all the burlap. We can still have burlap showing. I think I'm going to put this here. And then we're going to put this piece like this. And I think we're going to leave it like that, except maybe put our little flower with our bird over here. So let's glue these on. And then take one of these groupings of ladies. really like how that is but then her little head's gonna get whacked off okay let's do it a different way can't be whacking off folks's heads let's make it shorter there and um maybe make that come straight across like that and i'm not worried about this hanging off because where we put this on our page it won't matter if that's hanging off as long as it's sitting hanging off the bottom of the page but I like it. So now let's just glue that down. This is so much fun, you guys. And there we have it. Now, this is going to get glued in on three sides to our page, and we'll have a nice little pocket or tuck spot. Put that up there to dry. And now let's work on this one. So, for this one, I think, what if we layer these? I think that's a good idea. Let's ink it. And let's glue this one. On to this one. Thusly. And let's just glue that onto that side. But it needs to be shrunk just a little bit. Because... And let's ink it up a little. Okay. And now we have this little piece. Let's see what else we can find. 
it's a fly off of earth. That's all of the ephemera that's page wise in there. Thought we had some in here. We do. Bigger pieces. Yep, it's bigger pieces. But, whoops, we could take one of these. Put it across here. Make sure we get it right side up, though. That is right side up. Okay. Across there. Let's see what we're going to do with our ladies. We may change our mind. So I know we're going to need to cut some of this off. I don't want to lose the fact that they're sitting in the car at all. That is just awesome. Now, what if we take our ticket and put it like this across there, layer those up, and cut some of this off. Let's cut it with a line. Let's put this where we want it. And then just for some contrast, kind of like that look. Or, well, that's, I want a piece of that blue off one of the pages if I can find it. Because it'll be smaller. Nope. Not available. Which is fine. Let's just use this. I just want to have some contrast. And we're going to put it here. And we're going to put our little ticket. Or do we want to use one of the little stamps? Well, first of all, let's make sure it's right side up. Oh, where's that one little tiny piece of inked up card? There it is. Will our little stampy thing work on there? He will if we cut him again. And these are the scissors that I used to cut my little stamped edges. Let's ink him up a little bit. And kind of darkening this a little bit. And we're going to just put him on there. I like all this little teeny tiny stuff. Okay. And this we're going to just put kind of at an angle across all pieces like that. I kind of like that. So we are going to glue this on here.
And now we're going to ink up the little ladies. Just a little bit. Again, I'm not going to worry about that they're hanging off the page a little bit. I kind of like it. Now we're just going to glue them down. Okay, so here we go. So there we have that. And that's going to be a pocket again in our book. Now we have this piece left over so we could turn this into a deeper pocket. Let me just straighten out this one edge. It's a little wonkyish. So with this, you know what? We could just make this a pocket. I like it. And add some other elements like this on here at an angle. We'll just build up on what's already here. And this is one of the pages from the book that I shrank down. I think I had plans of using them as pockets. And then I cut them all apart. So we'll put those on there. Get one of the, we can use one of them, the medium sized ones. Let's find a good medium sized one. Oh, she's pretty on there. So what we're going to do. I'm just going to cut the white half circle parts of the ticket off. Now, we don't want to just cover up a part of the page, although we could. I kind of want to put her like that. Let's ink her up. Just a little bit. And we're going to be almost done, guys, because I'm looking at the time. And this is a long video. I think we're going to put her like this. Okay. And then maybe, where's that lace I already cut? Just put a piece of this down the side of the page. Let's cut it and see how we like it. Or down the side of this pocket. I'm not a fan of that one, but... One moment. <coughs> Let me save my little straight pen. Oh, you're not going to even see that one. New. No, not even going to see it. So, put the straight pin back in there. So, we're going to go with the Dollar Tree lace because it always shows up and we're just going to put it right here down the side when I get it to turn correctly so I can cut it off there we go and take our tacky glue
hand. Look at that lace on there like that. And I like that. And that's going to be a pocket. So again, we're going to glue the three sides and we'll have stuff we can stick down in that pocket. Do I have any more pages left over here that we can make a pocket with? No. Oh, but we, oh, there should be something. Now we could turn this into a pocket. I have two of these. And there was a tree. I made the tree. And I don't see the tree. Because I love that tree. Oh, I have three of these. Well, I don't want to use all three that way. So let's see. I'm trying to find the tree. Because I wanted to use that tree on something. And it should be in one of these two buckets of pieces. It's not in that one. Okay. So, let me look back in this one real fast. I have a lot of stuff in these little buckets, you guys. Journaling cards, file folders, tickets, tags. But I have... I had this tree printed by itself somewhere. I thought. Just lonely tree. And I wanted to use it on something. And now I can't find our tree. That's okay though. It's okay. It's all good. Let me look in here one more time. No, no tree. We have a smaller postcard. Okay. So we have these butterfly pocket things. We have, Or the butterflies, which are moths. These are moths. I need to get my terminology down. Okay, so we have these. And we also have up here. Ooh. Let's do this. These two spots. Let's just figure out how these go. Well, let's roughly cut out the moth a little bit. And we may not want to put him in the middle. Stark square in the middle. So I'm not completely fussy cutting it out. I'm just doing a loose fussy cutting, if you will. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put our little lady back. And let's do this one. thought I dropped something so guys you can take elements from pages you can crop them um, and turn them into different elements on pages I've been shrinking stuff since my second journal my second journal was a shrunken four by six or six by four and that's when I started actually shrinking ephemera I've been shrinking stuff for over, a little over a year at this point. I love the shrunken ephemera stuff. Okay, so 
let's put all the trimmage in the garbage. Now, here's the thing. We can put them straight on here. We could put it off to the side. You could have it kind of at an angle. So more of him would get on there. That kind of thing. I kind of like this. I do. And then we would just trim it off. That's what I like. Oh, but I don't need that. I just need Elmer's. So I'm hoping y'all had fun with this kind of like little tiny, tiny kind of craft along with me project. I hope y'all are getting some good ideas. I know when I watch other videos, which I try to watch videos every day of other crafters, I get all kind of ideas. And then I want to implement them into what I'm doing in some way if I can. Like those tuck spots with Sonia. Those were awesome. We did them in our video yesterday. And they, I, I love those. And they're so, and I can definitely use those in journals. And I'm going to use them in this journal. So there's our butterfly, our moth pocket. And it's just going to go like that. So this one, we can make go fly the other way. Now, the other thing is, this doesn't have to be this kind of a pocket. It could be a side pocket. And then when you glue it in, it could be a pocket behind it. But I think I want it to be this kind of a pocket. And I want our butterfly, our moth. I keep wanting to call it a butterfly. I think I'm going to have him go in and have the wings coming off the bottom. Kind of like this. I love this moth. Okay. So, I had it more like this, I think. Okay. Now, when Artie Maids does stuff like this, she sands it so that it becomes one with the paper. She'll sand these edges down. I don't do that. So, it's an idea. I just haven't ever tried it. But you can definitely sand your edges down like she does and make it more of one piece. So, we got that. Now, what? I think let me pick up and then go over what we have made today because we've made a good bit of stuff. I did want to make some book page envelopes, kind of like this one, and it's just a folded over envelope. That's a different one. I have book pages up here. I made this off camera. It's a book page with napkin on it, but it needs to be backed with this is very flimsy book paper. So this we could take and glue. Let's do that. This too. So let's do it with our. Put the glue on this paper. Making sure to get our edges good. This book paper is just not very thick. So I think backing it with the 32 pound paper. Which I'm losing all my sparklies and stuff that I put on here. Okay, and then let's just lay it. We're going to have to trim. This is going to get glued down. Wasn't worried about covering that part. Trim it 
and then we'll refold it. So I made this off camera earlier. This one I haven't done anything with yet. Oh, that, that was, whoa, get those off of there. That sounded horrible. Okay, and we had this folded up like that. It goes at the bottom edge. So just refold. And I need to snip, snip. And then this folded down. Like that. Okay. And that just needs to dry. And then I'm thinking we'll just paper clip it in the book. Put this over a page maybe. Um, but first we should glue our envelope shut. And there we go. That needs to dry. We can make another one really quickly. What do we want to put on here? Ledger. Wait. We have this paper left over. I like it. We can just glue this on here. And what do we want to put up there? What do we is not good English. What are we would be better English. Is that long enough? No. Okay, let's see. This is long enough and it contrasts nicely. Just not sure. Let's see, we have ledger paper here. Oh, coffee dyed. What if we just did the coffee dyed down here and then put this up? Oh, that's a knife. Let's do that. Let's put the coffee dyed here. Again, I don't need that one. I need this one. So we're just going to line it up. And then for this, I want to use this strip of numbers. Uh oh, why are we going? Again, with my corners, you guys. Corners and edges. And I thought we glued that down. We we're going to. Well, we did not glue that down. I, really, I thought we did. But we'll glue it now. Okay, now I want this here. So I'm just going to hold it. Line it up over there. Line it up like that as best as I can. Okay, and while we're trimming, let's trim this coffee dyed paper off of here. Yes. 
And we need to think about what are we going to put in here on the inside of our little flap. The outside is good. I'm going to need to trim that some more. But, yep. Let me trim it, trim it. Get off. Okay, now. Let's glue it down. to trim off the bottom edge. There. And that is so and not a straight. Let's fix it. That's better. Okay. We gotta decorate something up in here. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We could just put this. I don't like to just though. Okay. Let's put the lace back over here. Let me think for a moment what we can do. So, hmm. Oh, we could put this in here. We've only seen the shrunken down version. So let's just trim off a little bit over here, a little bit over here. We need to trim some off of the bottom. And that will fit. And we will just have this glued in to the top of our envelope for decoration purposes. Yummy. And I'm looking at this coffee dyed paper going, we need to do something with the coffee dyed part of that paper, which we do. That is pretty. So now we have that. And we still have this piece. Let's see. Let's just cut this across right here where that paper is. We could put this on here. We have. I'm trying to see what else we got. Smallish. And the smallish stuff that we got in here. Or we could do another book page. We still have this little piece. I think we them like this. And put, hmm. Problem is when the flap is closed, that's what you're going to see. I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, when the flap is closed, let's look at what we're going to see when our flap is closed. And maybe do something with just that because that was a good idea. So maybe take just this piece. I kind of like that. 
and then take just a month. Let's take one of the tickets. Maybe one of the tickets. And that piece of music paper. And maybe just a piece of this handwriting paper. And build up a little kind of cluster on that. I like it. I like it. So let's glue this down. This is the last thing we're going to make. Then I'm going to put some stuff away and look at what we've made today. And I'm sorry that this video is so long, you guys. I hope you stay to the end. Um, if you've made it this far in the video. <laughs> no, I won't do it on this one because it's so long. I was going to say we're going to have a silent secret giveaway, but... I think that's why I only had four people sign up for one of my giveaways is it was a longer video and no one waited to get to the end to do it. We need to put that under there. So then I want to come back and glue this side of it. So y'all never know. It could be at the very end of the video. I'm not going to do it on this one, like I said, um, but be prepared. We are doing the 500 subscriber giveaway very soon. I want to just plan in advance for it and put it out there. I want as many people in as we can get in. I just want it to be a lot of fun. Party. I like this. Now if we could take... Um, Maybe one of the book pages real fast. If I can get one really fast. What do we want to use? That flower is too big. But I do like the little butterfly. Let's cut out the little flutter by. And he's not going to take much glue. He's so tiny. He's so teensy tiny. And let's just put him like right there. I like him. Okay, guys. So let's clean the desk off a little bit and put stuff back in its little buckets. New stuff in new buckets. Put my buckets. So, I am going to be making more pockets. I don't think I have enough. That's a journaling card. I don't think I have enough of them for the book. I just don't think so. All kind of little itty bitty moth things have flown away. I know about how much, how many embellishments I need in a book. And I don't think we have enough made yet. For pockets and stuff. Oh, let me just set that up there for a moment while I clean up this stuff. Get all these little scrap pieces because, oh, and then we're going to finish our paper clip real fast. It's not going to take but a minute. Just a minute. Okay, all this needs to go into the garbage. Which is right under my desk. I moved it. It used to be behind me, and I have moved my garbage to a much more convenient location. Okay, back to our paper clip. Did I pick up the ticket? I was going to, oh, oh, here it is. 
So we've got this glued. This is still a free edge. And this is not glued down all the way. Also a free edge. And let me glue this. I don't know why this is not sticking. Okay. Glue that. Down. We're going to use tacky glue this time. We're going to get the tacky glue. I think it got clogged that fast. It did. There we go. Okay, put our tacky glue on there. Admit one's at the bottom, so we want to make sure we get this the same way. And Miss Muffet is just snoring, snoring, snoring. So I'm going to go back again, like I did before, and get in, in between here and press it down. So that both of these edges are together. It's not going to stop the paper clip from working. It's going to make sure that the paper clip will work. And they're off center, but that's not going to matter. There we go. And we just got to glue and press and press. Like I said, the main thing is to make sure that your inside card pieces are not stuck together. Because if they are, that will keep your paper clip from working. So those are free. That just has to dry. So let me. We still have one of these. If I decide, you know, we can use it. So we have, let's go over what we've made. We have this pocket that's going to go at the top of the page. We do need another top of the page pocket. Let me put that in camera. So we have that at the top of the page. We made this envelope. We made this, I made this one off camera, but it's the same way this is done. We decorated these two envelope pockets. We made this out of a shrunken down page from the journal as a pocket. We made this as a pocket. We collaged this onto the burlap paper and made it into a pocket. We've made this corner tuck. We made this envelope and that card to go together. We made this envelope and this card to go together. We also made this corner and this corner and this corner. And I bet I can figure out where my tree paper went to. Nope. I thought it went up there with those papers. So that's what we've made today. It's a, two, it's a little over two hour long video. We made a lot, guys. We did. So it's all of these plus what we already made. I think I'm still going to go ahead and make a couple of more of the corner tuck layered pieces. Make another one for the top of a page. Um, and then we're just going to start. I'm going to do that off camera. The next video that goes up, I'm thinking, will probably go up on Friday. And that's going to be let's put it all together. And decorate our pages, sew the pages in, and then I'm ready for a walkthrough on Saturday. But I think this is coming out gorgeous. I love these pages and how they look. These little corners. And these are going to look really pretty in the journal. On the pages. So the background pages, even though I didn't use them to back the papers, I'm using them here. To make all kind of embellishments for the journal. And these papers are gorgeous. And would this would be gorgeous in so many different journals. These papers. Oh, yeah, that goes with that. These two go together. That's the one for the top of the page that we're making the paper clip for. Because it's a flip down. And I may make this one as a flip down on the other side. Maybe not opposite this inside the book. But as a flip down as well with another paper clip and I can do that off the camera 
This would make a good belly band. Oh, with that blue paper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's work. I know I said we were going to go. I had a scrap of the blue paper. Aha. Uh -huh. So what if we did, let's trim it down a little bit more on the ends and make it go straight. Hello. This is the absolute last thing we're going to do. So then if we put this in the middle of here, then we could maybe take this piece of lace that I said wouldn't work earlier because we wouldn't see it. Oh, that's just pretty. And put it on here. Let's do that. Let's mark where we need to cut it. That would be a belly band. But we do need to see if it's going to fit in our book first. I think it's th going the right way. It is. It's going to go straight from top to bottom. So we may want to trim it off a little. Well, let's see. Straight top to bottom. Yeah, let's go on and cut it down just a hair. And we can trim everything that way. How's that going to work? And you know, we have that one page in here, guys, that's a pocket on the side. We left a side pocket. This would be great going down that paper, that side pocket page to help reinforce it. Because I think it was a thinner piece of paper. So it may or may not end up being a belly band in the middle of the book. But I think that is awesome. So let's just glue this. Last thing we're going to make today would be this. Okay. What I need to learn how to do, you guys, is stop the video in the middle. And just stop the video, say goodbye, do all that. And then start a whole new video and pick right back up where that one left off. That's what I need to do. Oh, we need tacky glue for this because it's lace. My glue is not coming out correctly. I think I have a glue blob. I do. And my glue just sucked it up. One moment while I remove the glue blob from the glue bottle. There we go. Oh, yeah, now it's going to flow, which is fine. I'm going to spread this out because I want it to go about the width of the lace. And again, it's going to dry clear. <coughs> Excuse me. But it does need to come all the way up to the end. Okay. And our lace goes. Like this, I think. And let's just eyeball that for being in the center. Looks close enough to me. I think that is very pretty, you guys. Very, very pretty. And the glue is going to dry clear. So that's the absolute last thing we're going to make today. And we're going to just start putting the book together. On There will be a video on Friday. I'm going to try to go live either tomorrow afternoon. Well, tomorrow's Thursday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go live tomorrow afternoon or not. It just really depends. Mother and I are going to be gone until about 3.30 my time. 
and I hate to be rushed in the morning with going live in the morning and then I know we got stuff to do tomorrow afternoon and that makes me feel rushed and I hate that so let's see we should be back by 3 30 my at 3 30 central 4 30 eastern I could probably go live no because hubby comes home okay I'm gonna wait and go live on Friday so I'm going to go live on Friday, Friday morning-ish time around, maybe not quite this early, but maybe around this time. Well, you don't know what time it is, do you? Not by the time this goes up. Right now, it's 930 in the morning on Wednesday morning. This video is about to go up as a recorded video. Later, is going to go up a little bit later today. So, it's currently 930 in the morning, probably about 10 o'clock in the morning, Friday, 10 Central, 11 Eastern is when I'm going to go live. And it's just going to be just kind of a chat with me. Let's catch up. Let's go over what the channel's going to do. Um, hopefully by then I can have my giveaway scheduled and that kind of, and know what I'm going to give away and that kind of thing. It's a 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm almost to 540. So it's like we should hurry up and do this. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and get subscribed. I've been trying to decide though, guys, if I want to do a challenge kind of thing or what do I want to do? For the giveaway i don't want to kind of do a challenge but yeah i'm trying that's what i'm trying to figure out and that's where i've been stuck on doing what let me know what you guys think below in the comment section if you make it to this point let me know in the comment section of this video please do, would you all participate in a challenge for a giveaway? Because I may do that for a different, like, higher number. It's not going to be this giveaway. But that's a way just to make sure, you you know, somebody's not subscribing just to get in on the giveaway. And then they unsubscribe. Because I've seen that. That happens to everybody. So, that's, you know, kind of what we're going to be talking about on Friday. I hope everybody can come join the chat and... Catching up thing because I hadn't been on in a minute because of internet issues and everything else. So I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching. Especially if you made it this far, let me know. Comment at the bottom and say I made it to the end. You never know. So definitely comment and state that you made it to the end. Love you guys. Hugs and blessings. Bye.